With profound, humble gratitude and love to all venerated, enlightened masters, we bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy, blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part two of four. Etc. Make peace now. Not make women widows. Not make children cry. Make nations strong as steel. Make your heart beautiful and new. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barre oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Chương trình của chúng tôi cung ứng nhiều ngôn ngữ. Xin xem suprememastertv.com gạch chéo schedule. In this communion is found the highest education. It is God's own method of development. Acquaint now thyself with him is his message to mankind. Please continue watching for more uplifting insights from the co-founder of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, Ellen G. White, vegetarian. Justice, veganism, and compassion. Boom. Means the same thing in every language. It is an honor to be here tonight to be able to speak to you all about one of the most important things happening on this planet today. We're here to talk about animal liberation. Vegan Eden Restorer. Saludos cordiales a todos. I just said friendly regards to everybody in Spanish, the official language of Uruguay. I am Fernando. The open-minded Uruguayans have strong values for being tolerant and accepting of all people. This is even enshrined in the constitution which upholds the religious and ethnical rights of all citizens. May everyone live in peace and friendship with one another. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Eritrea is one of them. Eritrea Penal Code Article 204 states that a person who commits acts of cruelty toward animal people or arranges animal hog fights or entertainment involving cruelty toward animal individuals is guilty of an offense punishable with imprisonment or a fine. <laughs> Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it.
Welcome to Knowledge of God from Education by Ellen G. White, Vegetarian, Part 1 of 2 on Words of Wisdom. Ellen G. White, Vegetarian, one of the co-founders of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, was born in Maine, USA in 1827. From the age of 17, she received numerous prophetic visions from God, which came to her throughout her life. These visions, through her divinely inspired writings, would form an integral part of the Seventh-day Adventist Church principles relating to scripture, health, education, and many other topics. As a woman of God, her hope was that her writings would help people understand God's love and the teachings of the Holy Bible. In 1863, she was shown a vision that humans should return to the plant-based diet of the Garden of Eden. The physical and spiritual benefits of this diet, the dangers of intoxicants, as well as other health issues. This became the inspiration for the Seventh-day Adventist healthcare program, which now has medical centers serving communities worldwide. In her book, The Ministry of Healing, she states as follows, The moral evils of a flesh diet are not less marked than are the physical ills. Flesh food is injurious to health, and whatever affects the body has a corresponding effect on the mind and the soul. Think of the cruelty to animals that meat eating in bulbs how it destroys the tenderness with which we should regard these creatures of God. She was also a renowned religious writer, author and speaker. During her lifetime, she wrote 40 books and thousands of articles. Her most notable works include The Great Controversy, Steps to Christ, Education and the Ministry of Healing. World citizens, wake up, urgent, make peace, be vegan, so all will return to heavens, because you are God's children. Today it is our pleasure to present selections from Ellen G. White's book, Education, where she details the importance of acquainting ourselves with God as a means of tapping into higher knowledge. First Principles Source and Aim of True Education The knowledge of the holy is understanding. Acquaint now thyself with Him. Our ideas of education take too narrow and too low a range. There is need of a broader scope a higher aim. True education means more than the pursuit of a certain course of study. It means more than a preparation for the life that now is. It has to do with the whole being and with the whole period of existence possible to man. It is the harmonious development of the physical, the mental and the spiritual powers. It prepares the student for the joy of service in this world and for the higher joy of wider service in the world to come. The source of such an education is brought to view in these words of Holy Writ, pointing to the Infinite One. In Him are hid all the treasures of wisdom. He has counsel and understanding. The world has had its great teachers, men of giant intellect and extensive research, men whose utterances have stimulated thought 
and open to view vast fields of knowledge. And these men have been honored as guides and benefactors of their race. But there is one who stands higher than they. We can trace the line of the world's teachers as far back as human records extend, but the light was before them. As the moon and the stars of our solar system shine by the reflected light of the sun, so, as far as their teaching is true, do the world's great thinkers reflect the rays of the sun of righteousness. Every gleam of thought, every flash of the intellect is from the light of the world. In these days, much is said concerning the nature and importance of higher education. The true higher education is that imparted by him, with whom is wisdom and strength, out of whose mouth comes knowledge and understanding. In the knowledge of God, all true knowledge and real development have their source. Wherever we turn, in the physical, the mental, or the spiritual realm, in whatever we behold, apart from the plight of sin, this knowledge is revealed. Whatever line of investigation we pursue with a sincere purpose to arrive at truth, we are brought in touch with the unseen, mighty intelligence that is working in and through all. The mind of man is brought into communion with the mind of God, the finite with the infinite. The effect of such communion on body and mind and soul is beyond estimate. In this communion is found the highest education, it is God's own method of development. Acquaint now thyself with him, is his message to mankind. The method outlined in these words was the method followed in the education of the father of our race. When in the glory of sinless manhood, Adam stood in holy Eden, it was thus that God instructed him. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses, no more hurting, no more murdering them to eat, to lab test or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. In order to understand what is comprehended in the work of education, we need to consider both the nature of man and the purpose of God in creating him. We need to consider also the change in man's condition through the coming in of a knowledge of evil and God's plan for still fulfilling his glorious purpose in the education of the human race. When Adam came from the Creator's hand, he bore, in his physical, mental, and spiritual nature, a likeness to his Maker. God created man in his own image, and it was this purpose that the longer man lived, the more fully he should reveal this image, the more fully reflect the glory of the Creator. All his faculties were capable of development, their capacity and vigor were continually to increase. Vast was the scope offered for their exercise, glorious the field opened to their research. The mysteries of the visible universe, the wondrous works of him who is perfect in knowledge, invited man's study. Face to face, heart to heart communion with his maker was his high privilege. Had he remained loyal to God, all these would have been his forever. Throughout eternal ages, he would have continued to gain new treasures of knowledge, to discover fresh springs of happiness, and to obtain clearer and yet clearer conceptions of the wisdom, the power, and the love of God. More and more fully would he have fulfilled the object of his creation, more and more fully have reflected the Creator's glory. But by disobedience this was forfeited, through sin the divine likeness was marred. Man's physical powers were weakened, his mental capacity was lessened, his spiritual vision dimmed. He had become subject to death, yet the race was not left without hope. By infinite love and mercy, the plan of salvation had been devised, and a life of probation was granted. To restore in man the image of his Maker, 
to bring him back to the perfection in which he was created, to promote the development of body, mind and soul, that the divine purpose in his creation might be realized. This was to be the work of redemption. This is the object of education, the great object of life. For more information, please visit Project Gutenberg or Gutenberg.org. To stop the war, stop the bombing against our civilians, people, please keep people living in peace. Gaza, be strong, destroy the war, not each other. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan. An evolution to a vegan diet would save the planet for our great-grandchildren, from whom we are borrowing our water and our food. Dr. Michael Klepper, MD, vegan. Contented viewers, Thank you for your presence today for words of wisdom. Please join us again tomorrow for Knowledge of God from Education by Ellen G. White, Vegetarian, Part 2 of 2. Coming up next is Our Fragile Planet, 2023's Wake Up Call, Part 3 of 4. Right after Noteworthy News, may our prayers for world vegan world peace soon come true. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell, not rich. It is important that Ukrainians know that the world remembers them, that the world will speak about the Russian atrocities, Russian war crimes and crimes against humanity committed in Ukraine. Peace for Ukraine or Ukraine. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW.